Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Recently Google released Gcam version 8.6 and I have it installed on the Pixel 6 Pro and they also released the camouflage feature of the magic eraser that we first saw with the Pixel 6a to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro models. In this video I'm going to show you each and every new change on those two important updates so let's find out what's new. Let's start with Gcam version 8.6 and it got some visual tweaks and also some new functional changes. The first change I'm going to show you is under the modes tab as you see it got redesigned so if we're going to compare this side by side with the previous version you will see the buttons are now shifted towards the bottom for easier reachability all of them are grouped together into a floating card and the buttons support material use so they match the color of the tab itself. Also the viewfinder was dimmer in the previous version but now it's using the full brightness. Other than the difference in the look they work exactly the same. The second change is under the video tab. When you expand the settings you will see the speech enhancement is also available for the back camera on the Pixel 6 Pro but unfortunately it doesn't work with the 4K resolution at any frame rate. And when you switch to full HD 60 frames per second the feature is still not available but once you change it to 30 that's when it will get activated. The resolution is very low and I'm not sure why Google did it that way because when I switch to the front camera and then activate 4K I still have the speech enhancement available. Maybe the back camera needs more processing power or maybe Google will support more resolutions in the future so let's wait and see. Change number three is under the motion tab. Now we got a new shutter button. Change number four, when you record any video using the front facing camera and then open this video like this, you will see some suggested shots that you can export from the video. This feature is not new, but it used to only work with the videos you take from the camera tab by tapping and holding on the shutter key. But now it works with the regular videos as well. I also noticed a much faster launching speed and also the switching between different camera modes feels faster after installing Gcam version 8.6. And when it comes to the photo quality I noticed two improvements in the night shots. First, the color of light is now presented more accurately after installing Gcam version 8.6. The 6 Pro used to process the purple, pink and red colors inaccurately. But if we're going to take this photo as an example, this purple sign looks exactly the same as I've seen in real life. The second difference is in how night sight processes the image. For reference, this is one of the photos I took a long time ago on the 6 Pro with and without night sight. As you see, there is a big difference between the two. Night sight used to brighten up the image a bit too much regardless of the lighting conditions. But now after installing version 8.6, the difference is almost non-existent if the scene has enough light. I do like this approach more because it represents the scene more accurately. So these are all the new features I spotted in Gcam version 8.6. Please let me know in the comments if you noticed any improvement in the picture quality or if I missed any new feature. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below, then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is very affordable. To complete your purchase, choose your preferred payment method, input the details, and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and the activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Now let's talk about the new camouflage feature in Google Photos. This is one of the photos I'm going to use as an example. And then I'm going to go to Tools, then Magic Eraser. As you see at the bottom now we have two tabs. One is called Erase, which is the original one. And now we have Camouflage. And when I tap on it and then highlight the object I want to camouflage, which is this tree, for example, and then wait for a few seconds, as you see, the tree color is now gray and it's a lot less distracting than before. Here's another example and this time when I go to camouflage, as you see, it has automatic suggestions over here and I have the ability to camouflage all the suggestions together, same as the erase option. 
So let me also try to camouflage the clothes and see if that would work. And as you see, the cap doesn't have a red color anymore. And let me also show you one interesting example. This is a photo of a white flower and I'm gonna try to camouflage this white flower like this. So let's see what's gonna happen. As you see now it has a green color. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Gcam version 8.6 and the new camouflage feature of Google Photos. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.